everybody. Um, just wanted to do a quick video uh, about the uh, the diet that I've been on and how it affected my uh, blood work. Um, I was in big trouble uh, a couple years ago when I was my health was declining and I was sick, and uh, I've cured that. And I'm on a high fat, low carbohydrate diet, uh, and a lot of you know I just thought to do this video because I, I hear a lot, I read a lot on the internet about diets um, and a lot of people tell you would say that fat, high fat is going to cause you a lot of problems and going to make you sick uh, and I'm here to dispute that to say that fat uh, is not really a problem um, you know we need fat and fat can be part of a healthy diet and also uh, animal products as well and uh, I'm not saying that uh, that those people that argue that fat is bad that their diet is bad I'm not saying that you should go on my diet I just wanted to share my personal experience and, and uh, say that it's working for me. Uh, and anyways, let's get to it. So, hopefully I can get my camera to focus here. But, uh, let's see. I wanted to show you. Okay, this is from two years ago. This is my uh, liver function test right here. AST and ALT. These measure... Uh, liver enzymes um, and they were way high, way out of range right here, 137 and 62 this is indication that I have fatty liver disease <clears throat> fatty liver disease means that there is an accumulation of fat in the liver and it is actually um, damaging, causing damage to the liver and uh, this I fully believe this was caused by eating way too much processed sugar, way too much fructose. It's a science fact that fructose can only be processed by the liver. You know, you'll get this if you drink too much alcohol, if you're an alcoholic. The exact same thing happens with sugar. Um, fructose in particular can only be processed in the liver. The liver is the only organ that has transporter for fructose. Um, where it gets uh, converted into liver fat. Uh, that is that is science. Um, you can't you can't argue with that. So I had fatty liver disease. I was sick. This is a big problem. Uh, next thing I just wanted to go over my A1C. So this is uh, hemoglobin A1C, which is an indicator of blood sugar over a period of time like three months I believe 5.7 it was high I was in the pre-diabetic range meaning I was on the road to having type 2 diabetes <clears throat> normal range is 4.8 to 5.6 uh, my doctor was just saying here that she prefers it to be under 6 if you have it over 6 that means 6% uh, that means that uh, you have type 2 diabetes so I was well on my way to having type 2 diabetes that's a problem uh, another thing I just wanted to point out, my vitamin D was severely low, 9.8, um, so, you know, that's not good. Vitamin D is very crucial to a lot of functions. Anyways, going to my current, oh, and my, uh, wanted to go over my cholesterol from two years ago. Uh, when I was eating a lot of junk, eating a lot of fast food on the standard American diet as they call it. My cholesterol, oh come on focus. So my total, you know, cholesterol, my cholesterol in general wasn't terrible. It was, sorry, I can't get this thing to focus. Total was 160. Uh, triglycerides, were 103, HDL 51, you know, it's not terrible. Um, could be better, uh, but certainly uh, everything here was in, within range and acceptable. Here are the ranges here. So, oh, and this is the big one right here, VLDL. The science is showing that's what is the big problem, the VLDL. That's what's going to get up underneath those endothelial cells in your blood vessels which is the lining of your blood vessels and that's what's going to cause the damage uh, it was within range what they say uh, but I will show you that being on a high fat low carbohydrate diet has improved all those numbers so here 
this is this is my blood results from about a week ago and first off my liver function way way down way down about even less than half what the range is and uh, that's awesome my liver is totally normal now it's healed I no longer have fatty liver disease that is a big plus uh, my let's see Oh, I don't have it on here uh, because when I went to see my doctor and I asked her about my A1C, um, apparently uh, I switched doctors and this doctor doesn't normally do it unless you have blood sugar problems. Um, oh, I can show you my serum glucose here. It was 79, which is excellent. This is uh, my fasting glucose. Uh, let's see what it was before two years ago. It was 92, which is high. Yeah, I was definitely on the way to having diabetes. So, 79, much better. Oh, and uh, when I went to see my doctor that day, they dropped more blood and called me up and told me my A1C was 5.4, which is uh, totally normal, within range, way better. Uh, here, my cholesterol. Uh, this is important. It's all been vastly improved being on a high-fat, low-carbohydrate diet. And when I say low-carbohydrate diet, uh, I try to limit my carbs to about uh, 100 grams or less, which is not, um, it's not ketogenic at all. Uh, I definitely do get sugar, I do uh, eat fruit, I do eat lots of vegetables, um, so it's not severely restricted, uh, but I have cut out all the processed sugar, um, all soda, all that stuff. So my total cholesterol, you know, it's about the same, went down a little bit, 162, was 166 before. My triglycerides. That's been cut over in half. It was 103 before, now it's 48. That's the f fat, that's the free fat in your blood. Eating a high fat diet, my triglycerides has gone down. That didn't really seem to make sense, but this is what the science supports. Um, science says that uh, it's really the sugar that's going to negatively affect your triglycerides and your LDL. <coughs> uh, HDL, I raised that. Went from 50 to 69. According to this, uh, over 59 uh, milligrams per deciliter is considered a negative risk factor, meaning I'm less at risk for getting cardiovascular disease. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, VLDL, this is the one I was saying before is the really bad one. I cut that over in half, down to 10, way down on the, no, on the low scale of, of the range. LDL hasn't really changed. It went down a little bit, um, 88 was 88 before now it's down to 83 but overall this excellent being on a high fat low carbohydrate diet has really been working for me with in terms of my cholesterol um, so anyways whole point of this video take away from this fat is not the enemy you can eat fat uh, make sure you get lots of healthy fats um, try to stick away stay away from uh, too much vegetable fats vegetable oils the stuff that uh, is made in a, in, you know, in a uh, laboratory because you can't get, <laughs> you can't squeeze uh, a soybean and get oil out of it. Um, that stuff's not natural, and uh, I don't personally, I don't believe that uh, it's good for us to eat those kind of oils. Uh, olive oil is good. Uh, I, eat, I eat lots of olive oil. Coconut oil is awesome. Way even better. I eat lots of that butter. <clears throat> I eat butter goat butter because uh, I'm dairy sensitive but this is much better also got some uh, clarified butter here that I made taking out some of the milk solids that stuff's all fine I eat that daily um, eggs awesome <clears throat> you know there are uh, nine essential amino acids and uh, there's two essential fatty acids that we have to get from our diet every day it's essential for life you don't get those uh, you will die. That is a science fact. You can't argue with that. Um, you can get those from eating a plant, plant-based diet. That is true. Um, what is also a science fact is there is no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. You could live completely without carbohydrates. Your body can make the glucose that your cells run, run off of. That's how our bodies are designed. So, um, you know, being on a low carbohydrate diet is not going to hurt you. Uh, especially if you do it in moderation. Now, I'm not suggesting that you eliminate all carbohydrates, 
Uh, I'm just telling you what works for me. And what works for me uh, is eating lots of vegetables, eating a moderate amount of fruits, eating lots of good fats like nuts, tree nuts, oils. Um, I eat these flax and hemp seeds for the omega-3s. These are awesome. Got a lot of omega-3s right there. Nuts, love nuts, um, coconut, uh, avocados. I eat a ton of avocados. Those are awesome. So anyways, just wanted to share with you guys my um, personal experience, what's working for me. Um, fat is not the devil <laughs> that a lot of people would have you believe. Uh, and that's, that's the takeaway message here. So, have any questions, comments, please uh, put them down, down there and uh, I will try to answer them. And anyways, um, you know, what I suggest, uh, do, your, do your own research. Uh, look through the science. Find the medical literature, because uh, all the information is out there. Uh, educate yourself. That's the most important thing here. And uh, anyways, have a great day.